what you've got here, we've got a fixed grain as a mass of 1000 kg and is used to lift 2400 kg. So my 2400 kg is here. And the mass of the grain is, uh, is 1000 kg. So definitely it is being applied at G. It is held in the place by a pin at A. So I've got a pin connection at A and a rocker at B. So I've got rocker at B. The center of gravity of the crane is located at G. Determine the components of the reactions at A and B. So in simple words, what we've got here, we've got two active forces. That's my one active force and this is my other active force. It is supported at two points. Point A, let's look at pin A. Pin A can rotate, yes it can, so there won't be any reactive moment. Can I move the pin in X, Y direction? No, I cannot do that. So I can have two reactive forces or I can have two reactive forces at A in any direction. So let us see which uh, one, uh, which I should uh, assume in vertical. Shall I go for this one or shall I go for this one? I can go for either. My answer will tell me if it's right or wrong. Looking at the active forces acting downward, so I guess that would be a more obvious one. Now let's look at the uh, forces in the X, in the, in the horizontal direction. I can have it in this or this. So I can pick any one because it's not obvious which one it would be. So you can pick any one. And when we look at the point B, it's a rocker. Rocker means it can, it can move in this direction, so there won't be any reactive force in the vertical. Uh, it can rotate, it's allowed to rotate, so there won't be any reactive moment. Uh, I can lift it, but I cannot move it in this direction. So it means I will have a reactive force in this direction, am I right? No, is that right? Uh, it can move in the direction. No, it's just no, no, it's not it because be, it can. Uh, towards right. Yes, uh, it can move in this direction. So definitely, uh, it will be in this direction. Yeah, perpendicular to the vertical side. Yes. Okay, so let's see the free body diagram of this one. Uh, come on. Yes, that's my free body diagram. I've got my two active. I've got my three reactive forces. And I've got the information also written here so that I can start solving the problem. So determine B, you have to find me the AX, AY, and B reactive force. You've got three minutes to do that.
Um, sir, Ay is coming out to be uh, 33.3 newton kilonewtons, and Bx and Ax both are coming out to be 107 kilonewtons. Um, okay. um, AX. It is hard to believe because both the forces are in one direction. So what is countering the force in the horizontal? If both AX and B are acting towards right. Um, no, like um, one of them would be negative. Like um, has to be. Check your answer. Yep. So if AX is negative. It comes out to be minus one of seven point zero eight. Yeah, yeah. Looking at the uh, because it's in uh, equilibrium condition, so I can see that I've got a few up and down forces, but for the horizontal, it's only one direction. Yeah. So check your answers. No, like uh, according to this one, it's uh, minus one zero seven, and I took the arrow in the opposite direction for A, so it came out to be both positive. Okay, and also it is very obvious if you find the answer of AX, it has to be the same for B. Yep, because the uh, horizontal components cancel out. Yes, that's the only force applied in the horizontal. Yep. So let's have a look. Uh, interesting. So we've got our B force, which is positive. It means this direction assumption was right. If we look at a Y, positive answer, so this assumption is right. If we look at a X, it's negative, this assumption is wrong, so it means our reactive force is acting in this direction. It doesn't mean that you have to write anything here that the, the reactive force is wrong. Don't write anything. Your answer is telling me that. Is that clear? Yes. Sir. yes. 